Okay, Chef Mr. Jones is here instead of Mrs. J, and I'm cooking some squirrel burgers to a fantastic bunch of people. They've just tried the first squirrel burger. I'm going to go to this gentleman. Introduce yourself. Adam Croft from uh, Oswald Street. How was that burger? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. And you're not joking, are you? No, I'm not joking. It was good. It was, it was good. What did you think? Yeah, lovely. Nice. Very nice. Very tasty. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just passing. No time to talk. Oh! First time ever, I'm going to buy him a box of squirrel burgers. How are you? Delicious. Very nice. Bendigetic. Bendigetic. Can I have another one? Oh, can I have another one? So they are going round. Is everybody pleased? Has everybody tried one? Yeah? That's, that's proof to you. Somebody's trying to sabotage this mic thing. That's proof to you, these squirrel burgers are fantastic and nutritional and bloody noisy. Living the dream. Wow, that discussion on squirrels went well. And the cooking was brilliant, but now I'm hungry. And what am I going to eat? Even though I've had a couple of squirrel burgers down there, I've come over to my mate James. Right, come on James, introduce yourself. I'm James, I'm one of the organisers. How are you doing, Gareth? I'm doing really, really well. And you've got some uh, friends with you. We've they're going to they're introduce themselves. I think they are. Hello, Senator Anna Smondwe. I'm Virginia, Virginia Crosby, the MP for Anna Smond, which is the best constituency in the UK. Oh, bragging. I'm, I'm not going to contradict you there, but I think Conway <laughs> is. Because <laughs> I live there. <laughs> Who are doing a real or a dequidiata start of a north one? Boy, boy, sick. Very boy, sick. Ah, see my pet amin so far. My pet amin the rakoro upon on us by muiyek welcome and chop up all and carry that me out. A rail we then? Yeah. Sit with the tractor. Ooh. You get that, James? <laughs> Some of it. <laughs> Some of it. Okay. You just said it's absolutely fantastic here. Yeah? And this is the second year. Imagine what the third year is going to be. Bendigedig. Bendigedig. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but I'm sorry to shove this lovely lady aside, but look what we've got cooking as well. Welsh lamb. This is what it's about. You know, this is what the Welsh Game Fair is promoting. Seasonal, fabulous Welsh lamb outside cooking for everybody to enjoy over the next two days. Makes me feel proud as a Welsh farmer and you know what, James? Keep up the good work and everybody else. It's important that we show North Wales at its best. Gareth, why are we flying food around the world when it's here? Exactly. <laughs> seasonal <laughs> se seasonal squirrels <laughs> and, and some nuts to go with it. But we've got Welsh lamb yeah. and we've got venison and we've got some fantastic food from Kai and the team. So come along, support the Welsh Game Fair at the Vinyl. We've been talking a lot about squirrel burgers over the last couple of days here. And here are the experts. Come on, boys, introduce right. yourselves. Uh, Brendan Anderson from the UK and Ireland Squirrels the Grey Area Group. I'm Brian, I'm uh, from the West Yorkshire Squirrel Group. So, I've been making squirrel burgers over in that tent tour there. <laughs> and, I had, I and you're protecting all... squirrels. Now, it sounds a bit crazy, but we're, yeah, we're, yeah. we're both from the same side. So, yeah. you can explain a little bit just before it gets confusing. So I'm so so you I'm, I'm are protecting the reds, the, the reds yeah. <laughs> and then I'm taking the greys out and you're just eating them. Yeah. <laughs> so see where we're going with this now. <laughs> Explain to everybody why is it so important to be taking the greys out of the equation. It's not just for the reds; it's for the trees and the, all the, the wildlife, all the birds as well. Um, so yeah, it's a big it's, thing. It's a big, big thing, yeah. And you mentioned yesterday with bats as well, that's something yeah, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, so they'll go and they'll take, um, if a squirrel finds a bat and they'll, the, the bats that live in the trees, yeah. they'll, they'll take a bat, they'll eat a bat as well. I would imagine that might be during the winter, I'm guessing. Yeah. More research needs to be, there's a lot, there's a lot more research needs to be done into the grey squirrels. Yeah. Because I think it's, it's, it's just not, what we've got is just not good enough um, yeah. for yeah. information wise. How many grey squirrels do you think uh, is in the UK? Have we got any idea? Well, grey squirrels is in excess of two and a half million. Uh, that, and, and that's, that's probably unofficial. low. Yeah, yeah. That's low. Yeah. That's, that's low. It, it, might, be, it might be five million. Could be ten million. Could be ten million? Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of burgers, people. <laughs> Let's not forget, every time we clear out a woodland with the greys, the reds have room. 
So every time we eat them burgers with them grey squirrels in, we are protecting the red. So it's an important message that we've put across. It's been a bit controversial, but hey ho, that's me. Education you... is just severely lacking everywhere. Education is key, and isn't it? we have it? to start at yeah. the bottom with everybody everywhere. doing their little bit. Squirrel proof your bird feeders. Try, you know, if, if they can't feed, then yeah. they don't breed. Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah. So yeah, we, we need everybody to be on board with that. In and, every and they area definitely don't breed. Them. Yeah. And they definitely don't breed if they're in a burger, do they? they no, don't. no. They don't. The best place, <laughs> best place for a grey squirrel is in a burger. <laughs> there you go. But um, these two are nuts about it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, boys. <laughs> Lamb's cooking, but you can't cook a lamb without the man himself. How's it going, Kai? Fantastic. You? You. Living the dream. Oh, look at that, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, let's let's take everybody around to have a look. So how long's this been on? Um this has actually been on since about eight o'clock this morning. Oh look at the juices coming out of that. So this will probably come off about three o'clock. That'll yeah. be tomorrow's lamb. Okay. So I'm gonna shred that and when I serve that first tomorrow we'll have another one on for tomorrow as well. A, we've got a very busy lunchtime here, we've sold out. Go on tell everybody. Sold out, haven't we? Sold out. I knew it. Just yesterday, I said to James, this will be banging. That yeah. car park is chocolate already. It is, I mean, the, people... you can see the people out there now, can't you? Yeah, yeah, it's so busy. We, we've, got, um, we've got some fantastic produce here this weekend. So we've had, a, we've had an, uh, like a really busy breakfast. Yeah. Um, we've had black pudding from the Riga State. We've had um, sausages and bacon from Edwards. Yeah. And even all the, you know, the, the tomatoes, the mushrooms, all local as well from Hughes. You know, yeah, in Hughes. yeah. Um, Going on to lunch, you've got the lambs here, and then we also got a Welsh venison as well from Willow Game. Can't wait. Um, and yeah, so absolutely fantastic. Oh, we've got cauliflower, which I think you're gonna like. <laughs> Why have they gotta bring the cauliflowers, these <laughs> chefs in with me? I like a balanced meal. I need meal. to put it on there for you. <laughs> well, this has gone really well. We've even bumped into some gold today. Come on, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Danny from Clogai. I'm Justine, not from Clogai, but from BBC Morning Live. Oh, well, I do a little bit for the BBC, but not as much as you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ben. This is my sheepdog, but this is Welsh Gold. This is Welsh Gold. <laughs> what a day. What a day, amazing. And we've just had some beautiful food prepared by you as well. Well, I'm not going to take the credit for it. Um, are you? <laughs> no, I help serve it. <laughs> Kai is the chef, okay? Amazing. Really, I could have taken that. I've been cooking squirrel burgers down there and everybody's loved it. They were amazing. They were amazing, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. You see, everybody's loving my squirrel balls. It's really Your strange. Squirrel balls? Yeah, they're behind you. Know? <laughs> Give me a try them. Look for your squirrel balls. <laughs> I think we might leave that one there. Yeah, yeah, that could be TV gold. <laughs> well, it's going well, it goes. Yeah, absolutely. I've just been seeing you carving up some venison. Well, got some I'm, hidden skills. I'm good with the meat. You're yeah. good at cooking it, maybe I'll be good at carving it. I'll say yeah, you stand there. Yeah. Then, we've, got, we've got a good system going here. But... Sold out here, Kay? Sold out today. 100, um, 108, to be precise. Brilliant. We squeezed the in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and tomorrow's going to be busy again. Tomorrow's going to be busy. There's a couple of spaces left, so we, you know. There you go. There's only a couple of spaces. If you come in, you have to book. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you can't just walk in now. To avoid disappointment. I've seen me and him cooking together. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. So we've got some fantastic Welsh venison. We've got some Welsh lamb. Some Welsh cauliflower for you, I say. Cauliflower steaks. Um, yeah. And it's going down really, really well. It's it's the so. Lamb's fantastic. It's cooked slow out there, isn't it? Low and slow. Uh, yeah, low and slow, everything in season, absolutely banging. I think Mrs. Jones wants to do some spending at the game fair. And we've come across this lovely, fantastic local dealer for Polaris, which has helped me a lot with the new Sportsman 570 yeah. EFI. EPS. EPS. Nearly got it all right. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this then. Uh, range of diesel deluxe, yeah. um, growth engine, uh, four drive, sense control, power steering, uh, 25 horsepower, uh, LED lights, sound deadening, great machine. I think I'm ready for a disco in it from after doing all that. Mrs. <laughs> Jones wants a disco. I just think it's the next vehicle to get our immersive tours. Do you do a bigger six seater? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Right. Time to uh, start scratching in that piggy bank, <laughs> digging deep, see if we can get one. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Good luck, yeah. ever.
I'm with Robert. the man <laughs> himself, Robert from Tanners. Tanners. Mm. You're supplying the drinks today. Yeah. And yesterday. And yesterday, yeah, we've been full on, yeah. hard at it. Good. And uh, oh, it's, it's been lovely. Yeah. It's a great atmosphere at this fair. It's yeah. nice and chilled and laid back. And we just say, have a bit of wine. And they go, oh, and can we have a bit more? And, yeah, of course we can have a bit more. <laughs> can, have a bit more. can you have a bit more? <laughs> and, and yeah, come to us for a bit more. <laughs> uh, I had a couple of Wrexhams off you yesterday, and they oh, were nice. really nice. That's yeah. one of my favorite beers. So you've got Wrexham. And what else have you got? Snowdonia Craft Bitter. There you go. From the man up the road, yeah, Jonathan. Local. So yeah, Pretty shout out for him. Yeah. Uh, Gwinty Drag Cider. Oh, I haven't Which, tried that. No, that might be something later on. Yeah, but it's a black, bit black early dragon. now. Black Dragon. Black Dragon. Yeah, and uh, no, going very well. I mean, Fantastic. yesterday was roastier, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was Scorchio <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I'm, I'm especially I, for you. I'm sure oh, you'd burn we were, easily. I'm, I think See, I'm, I'm lost, sensible. Aware I that. lost a bit yesterday. I lost a bit yesterday. But, Did um, you? Um, no, we're looking really looking forward to it today, sir. No, good luck. Great show. Great um, atmosphere. And everybody's really excited for another fantastic day here at the Vinyl. And a fire. Mmm. The Welsh Game Fair. <laughs> Living the dream. Cheers. I'm with me, old mate. Come on, introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Gareth Jones. I'm the managing director of Carvin's. The other Gareth Jones. Indeed. The rich Matching. one. <laughs> So yeah, we do solar and uh, and all sorts of things, helping all sorts of businesses save energy at the moment, Gareth. Yeah, really and busy. You've been yeah busy with local businesses, Edwards, Zipworld. Yeah, Zipworld. Yeah, we've been we've been helping so many different businesses in different sectors, and but an awful lot in the holiday market at the moment. We're we're really really on a drive to help as many businesses as we can to to lower lower costs and be there for the future for their customers and yeah, so, yeah. and it is it is the way forward isn't it you know but putting the right panels in the right it place is, as well yeah, isn't it you're mate? Right. it's the right systems for the right solutions and yeah there's a lot of new technology and it's understanding what people really need and making sure we fit what they need what you know and giving them the right advice as a local business in the yeah. end and uh we, you know, we've been doing this only 15 years. Wow. So it's a long time, and yeah. we, we, it's, there's not many places we haven't fitted. Yeah, and it's you're, you're absolutely right. It's getting the right solution for the right properties. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, we've got an exciting number of years ahead. Some big growth opportunities. It. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's well, exciting. do you know what? Deserves it. Yeah, thanks, good Gareth. local lad. Puts a lot back into charities. Yeah. Works really hard. And congratulations. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Gareth. Catch up soon for a beer. Yeah. I'm sure. Take care, man. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Well, you know I've been calling them squirrel balls, but they are. Squirrel bonbons. See posh. Now tell everybody who you are and I'm... tell them how, how good these squirrel bonbons are going down. Well we're front of house here at, at, at the uh, Marquee here at the Welsh Game Show and we have been offering the bonbons on the front desk and nobody, nobody has refused them and they've all really, really enjoyed them. Hey, hey you see. We're doing a great job, but we have to thank the man himself for that, don't we? Because <laughs> I've been taking the credit <laughs> for your squirrel balls. The squirrel nuts are going down very, very well. <laughs> Say no more.